so much for joining us this morning. I'm doing this live here Tuesday morning in Redding, California. Welcome those on our YouTube channel and those who are also watching this on Facebook. Hey, it's going to be a good one today. Haven't been with you for a couple weeks. And today's topic is change the channel. I extended it, change the channel in your self-talk. But we're going to talk today about changing the channel. Now, hey, before I get into this, just uh, want to pray blessing over you. Thank you for those in the Igniting Hope family, those who are regulars. We welcome new uh, people who maybe this is your first live or you haven't been with us for a while. And if that's the case, we love to use the chat in our YouTube live or our Facebook live. And if you haven't been with us for a while, why don't you just share, hey, where you're from? And we'd love to love to hear that. Hey, good morning, Marsha, uh, Deborah. Good to have you. Adele, yes. Gretchen, Becky, S Cynthia, hey, good morning to you. Sherry there in Valparaiso, Hayden in London. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yep, Jenny, Becky, we know you guys are up there in Eastern Oregon. Thank you so much for just your encouragement to us. And Vicki, we love having you from Mexico. Trust your, your body is whole. We, we just continue to stand with you for health and healing. Rob, so glad you are with us. Yes. Looking forward to this coming year. And Deborah, Palm Springs. Wow. Area. Judy, love you. We miss you. So glad you're, you're on today. Hey, let's talk about this. Change the channel in your self-talk. Woohoo. It's interesting, you know, when I, I, I rent a lot of cars traveling and I was just in Germany, didn't rent a car there, uh, Hildberg, but I saw you and um, rent a lot of cars and, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll, when I get the car, I'll turn the engine on and there's something playing on the radio that I don't like. Something's playing on the radio that I don't like. Wouldn't it be a bummer if I thought, oh, no, now I have to listen to this my whole trip. Now I need to listen to this my whole trip. You'd say, hey, Steve, I want to let you know something. You are powerful. You are powerful. You have the power to be able to change the channel and listen to what you want to listen to. <laughs> I go, wow, that's amazing. I remember once I got a car and it was a brand new car at that time. And there was something playing on the radio when I turned it on. And I couldn't figure out how to change the channel. There were, all, there were knobs in between the seats. There was a screen there uh, with icons, arrows. And it took me the longest time to figure out how to change the channel. But eventually, I did. <laughs> eventually, I figured it out. Now, here, here's, it's interesting, isn't it? You know, when you think about radio waves and that they're in the atmosphere, we can't see them, but they are, if we have the proper receiver, we can tune in to certain music, certain uh, talk shows, certain emphasis, and that's the beauty of that. Now, 
just as in the natural, our spirits, our spirits are also receivers, are also receivers that can tune into different spiritual channels. And the devil has his channels. God has his channels. It's interesting when you when you look at a story like Gideon, and I love to talk about Gideon in Judges 6, and Gideon was listening to the wrong channels. He was, if you know the story, and if you're new to the Lord or you're new to the Bible, the story in Judges 6 is about a time in the nation of Israel where it, it was definitely a dark time and they're oppressed by the Midianites and it, it was a time of compromise, fear, uh, poverty. And Gideon got a word from the angel of the Lord saying, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Now, and then in Gideon, then he he argued with, with God and he was sharing basically, he argued with the angel and sharing basically why that wasn't a good word and uh, and just basically telling the angel, giving him what Gideon thought was good information so the angel wouldn't have such high beliefs. <laughs> it wouldn't have such high beliefs. And so he was he said. Uh, well, if God's with us, why has all this happened? And, and so he he went on to say, basically he was he, he was saying he was listening to the "It's Too Late" channel. It's too late for my nation. He was listening to "Miracles Don't Happen Around Here" channel. He was listening to uh, later on as he talked to, to the Lord, as the Lord gave him further insight, and God says. Go in the strength you have. Go in the might you have. And, and you're going to save my people. And he went, Gideon went on to tell another channel he was listening to. He was listening to because I come from a poor family. I can't have future influence channel. <laughs> and so that's where he was focused in his self-talk. That's what he was renewing his mind with and as he was renewing his mind with that out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks and so he spoke those things and but the lord he said the angel said the lord is with you mighty warrior and, and so basically what god was saying to gideon was Change the channel in your self-talk to the, the belief that God is with you, you're a mighty warrior, and you have a nation-delivering anointing on your life. You have a nation-delivering anointing on your life. And that's <clears throat> what he was to focus on <clears throat> Excuse me, in his self-talk. Now, he was to change the channel in his self-talk before the circumstances changed. Let me say that again. He was to change the channel in his self-talk before the circumstances changed. And so he, he was to say, okay, uh, what do I need to meditate on? What do I need to renew my mind with? Uh, I need to renew my mind with <clears throat> the Lord is with me. Why don't you just say out loud right now, God is with me. <laughs> and you may be like Gideon. You don't feel like God's with you. you your, your circumstances may uh, seem to be screaming at you that God is not with you. And... and, and then he was to change the channel to that he is a mighty warrior. He is a great leader. He is courageous. 
Just say, I'm a mighty warrior. I'm a mighty warrior. I'm a great leader. I've got a nation delivering influence on my life. Say those things. <clears throat> now, one, I mean, obviously, one of the greatest ways that um, one of the greatest ways that we change the channel in our self-talk, and we'll get deeper into this, is by saying it, because you can't think a lie when you speak the truth. You can't think a lie when you speak the truth. Now, another Old Testament character, Abraham. Now, he was listening to the I'm Too Old channel. <laughs> he was tuned in to the I'm Too Old channel. And God says, hey, change the channel. Change the channel in your thinking to... My greatest days are still in the future channel. My greatest purpose in life is still going to happen. Change the channel to that, Abraham. Change the channel to uh, I am a father of, the multi of multitudes. I am. It's, and again, he was told to change the channel in who he saw himself as, in what his potential was, in what his future was. He was to change the channel again before he saw anything. Before there was a change. Now, this, this is the way faith works. This is the way faith works. Faith believes and then sees. <laughs> oh, I love that. Mary Joy, thanks for sharing that. Uh-oh, you're right. Sometimes I listen to the Too Old channel <laughs> at 66. Lord, my greatest days are ahead. My greatest days are ahead. I'm a mother. You've put, I'm a mother of the multitudes. And, and it's, he, he was, <clears throat> so Abraham, he, he's, he's an example. And all, all through the Bible, you got in Jeremiah 1, God calls Jeremiah. And he calls him a prophet to the nations. And Jeremiah says, but I'm only a youth. And God says, do not say you're only a youth. Change the channel. He would, Jeremiah was listening to the I'm Too Young channel. And God says, no, I want you to change the channel to a prophet that I am a prophet to the nation's channel. As, as, we, look, as we look at all these and we... we Think about, okay, the enemy has, he's the father of all lies, so he's, his only real weapon is the lie. Uh, once we believe truth, John 8, 32 says the truth will make you free. Once we believe truth, we get free, and if, if we're free, it doesn't sound like the devil's bothering us very much. Even to put on the full armor of God in Ephesians 6, we got to put those, we don't, we have to believe something to get those pieces on. And one of the, them is the shield of faith. The shield of faith, the shield of good beliefs. Take up the shield of faith where which you quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, all of them. And, and again, he, uh, the enemy is just trying to flood our airwaves with all these fiery darts coming at us. And, and they are primarily, they're just lies. They're lies, fiery darts that are trying to burn up our potential, uh, trying to wound our psyches, uh, trying to create limitations. And, but we can quench them all with the shield of good beliefs. Now, this whole thing about, okay, he's got, 
you know, he, the devil has the accuser of the brethren channel. The accuser of the brethren. He's known as the accuser. And I tune into the accuser of the brethren channel every once in a while. And, you know, oh, yes, because that sounds really true. That sounds, my, oh, my, that, 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 that's got to be true if it feels this true. <laughs> By the way, feelings don't validate truth. They just validate what we believe is true. Or put it another way, feelings don't confirm truth. They just confirm what we believe is true. Yes. Neil, thanks for that. Yes. If truth sets us free, then lies keep us in bondage. It's, it's really as simple as that. We believe truth. We first get free in our emotions. Then we get free in our circumstances. We be believe lies. We first get non-free in our emotions and then non-free in our circumstances. So he, there's the, the accuser of the brethren channel. There's the you are a failure channel. I tune into that. Sometimes <laughs> there's the you are at a disadvantage channel. You are at a disadvantage in life because of these things. And, and it's on and on and on. But God has all kinds of channels. Now, here, here's how you know. Let me give you a great hint how we can know we're listening to the wrong channel in our self-talk. How we're, we're listening to the wrong channel in our self -talk. If what we're listening to, if what we're listening to doesn't give us hope, then change the channel. Even when God corrects us, there will be hope. If what we're listening to in our self-talk doesn't give us hope, change the channel. Change the channel. And that, that's, that's a great standard. That's a... To me, it's like... You know, again, I, I shared in the beginning, if you've just jumped on, by the way, we're on our YouTube Live. We're, we're moving to the YouTube platform and wanting to build up our library there. So if you're watching on Facebook Live, why don't you go to YouTube, uh, Igniting Hope YouTube, and subscribe there so that we can we can just build that up. Yep, Dave, you choose the Hope Channel. Lydia, yes, good to see you. So if it doesn't give us hope, if it doesn't give us hope, then we're, we're not hearing the right channel. <laughs> Whew. You know, there's some... The story in Mark 5 uh, is a good one where the woman with the issue of blood uh, is, is such a powerful one. And she, she said um, in verse 28, for she said, if I touch but his garments, I shall be made whole. If I touch but his garments, I shall be made whole. That's, that's in the, the King James. The New King James says, if I only may touch him, for she said, if I only may touch his clothes, I will be made whole. And the Amplified says, for she thought, if I just touch his clothing, I will get well. And the Passion Translation says this. Now, hear, hear this. This is powerful. For she, she kept saying to herself, 
If I could touch even his clothes, I know I will be healed. She kept saying to herself, if I could touch even his clothes, I know I will be healed. And I love that story there in Mark 5, the woman with the issue of blood, because she, in her self-talk, she was listening to the channel of hope and possibilities and faith. It's, and, and so much of our, our, our self-talk, so much of our self-talk is, it's so important to develop, <clears throat> and, and I'll use the word discipline in, in a good way, or, or the habit. It says in 2 Corinthians 10, 5, it says, taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. It says earlier, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty in God to the pulling down of strongholds. We demolish arguments, and these arguments are in our self-talk. They're, they're, they're spiritual stations we're listening to. The, and he's talking here about negative arguments. We demolish arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. Taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. And it, it is a, you know, building our muscle and, and really not just allowing any thought to just come into our minds. I, I love what Wendy, she has a plaque, don't believe everything you think. Don't believe everything you think. And so as we're talking here about staying on the right channel, because really what we're, what we're talking about is what do we renew our minds with on a regular basis? What do we renew our minds with on a regular basis. Doyle, great to have you with us from Mineral Wells. Thank you for joining us. What, what is it? Because with the renewing of the mind, obviously Romans 12, 2 says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's, that's talking about positive mind renewal. That we're, we're thinking on things that are higher than what we're feeling and experiencing. We're intentional in the renewing of the mind, but <clears throat> but it's also true that we renew our minds. Whatever we constantly come into agreement with is mind renewal, whether it's lies or truth. And, and so that's why we take responsibility about how we think. How do we do that? You say, hey, Steve, how can I stay on the right channel? Well, there, let me give you a couple verses that I believe will help. One is Philippians 4, 6 and verse 7. It says, do not worry about anything. It says, stay off the worry channel. <laughs> Get off the worry channel. Do not worry about anything, but in everything. By prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. So it says we can stay on the right channel through prayer. But, but the, the key there is, is, is with thanksgiving, as we're thankful. As we're, we're, we're thankful, that is the antidote to worry. That's being thank you. When I put thank you in front of the the declarations or in front of a faith statement, which is a declaration of something I've already prayed about. So then, then that keeps me on the right channel. Thank you, Lord, you're meeting my needs. Thank you, Father, for that you're working in, in my family. Thank you that I will know what to do. Thank you, Lord, for protection. Thank you for physical health and strength. Thank you. And so that's one of the main ways that we stay on the right channel is through 
Thanksgiving. Obviously, another way of staying on the right channel is is what we're feeding on. And what what do we feed on? And so feeding on truth, being on these broadcasts, uh, just being around people who value renewing of the mind, value hope, it's it's gonna it's gonna help us. But another verse I want to say besides the Philippians four six is is Ephesians four twenty nine. It says, Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but only that which is for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. And and so we we stay on the right channel by hearing words that are filled with grace. Now, words don't, even as I'm talking to you today, I'm not just giving you information. There's a literal impartation that comes through. It says, let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but only that which is for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. So as we put ourselves in environments of hearing truth, but also people who are releasing grace, because life is in the power of the tongue. So even as I'm talking today about uh, staying on the right channel, it isn't just information that you're receiving. There's actually a grace being released. And one of the definitions uh, of grace is the empowerment to do God's will. This is Ephesians 4.29, where our words impart grace. So I'm empowered through listening to people who actually are, are believing in the finished work of the cross, believing their words are powerful. Now, but... Here's the thing. <clears throat> I don't want to just wait for someone else to tell me something. I'm going to tell me something. That's why I love making declarations. Because I, I get on one level to determine how much grace I receive. I've just finished a new book, and it's called De- Declare It. Some of you are already aware of that. It's a great book. It's got 90, I think 94, 94, 96, can't remember how many, different areas of life where we have 15 separate declarations for each of those areas. And whether it's memory, whether it's emotions, whether it's whether it's family, relationships, et cetera, et cetera. Thanks, Claire. Good to have you on here. 96, it's been confirmed. And so I, that's a great book to use if you want something to spark you're releasing grace and you're changing the channel in key areas of your life. In key areas of your life. Declare it. Uh, Marcia, thank you. You keep that book close at hand. Whoo! And so, I, I'm... As we begin to wrap this up, I stay on the right channel. You stay on the right channel. And there's other ways, but I am mentioning a couple is, you know, one through Thanksgiving. And the, you know, staying off the worry channel, Philippians 4, 6, and 7. And then the Ephesians 4, 29, the grace of staying on the right channel by listening through others and ourselves hear truth 
that's going to uh, that's going to help us stay on the channel. So, man, I was again. I started this off, and I started this off, and by sharing, hey, I, I rent a lot of cars. Sometimes I'll turn the car on, and there's something playing on the radio that I don't like. And wouldn't it be a bummer if I thought, oh no, I need to listen to that. I have to listen to that the whole trip. No, you'd say, Steve, you are powerful. You can change the channel and listen to what you want to listen to. And that's, that's really the truth that I want to give you. Even, even like I gave the example, there was one car that I rented that I couldn't figure out how to change the channel. So it, the same thing was playing over and over again. And it's, I finally figured it out. Now, you may be here today and you say, man, Steve, I've got all these negative things that I tune into all the time. I can't. It just seems like it's constantly. And I'm going to tell you, you're going to figure it out. You are going to figure this out on how to change the channel. If it doesn't happen today. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Whew. And we talk about. This we love to uh, we love to just help you, and I've got you know in the chat there we, I've got other books as well. Declarations, uh, that's a book I wrote. On, that's subtitle of Unlocking Your Future: Thirty Biblical Reasons Why We Make Declarations. And I've got another book called You're Crazy If You Don't Talk to Yourself. You're crazy if you don't talk to yourself, and. Wow. A lot of resources. You can go to our website. You can go to our website and we have free, uh, a lot of free resources on there. I do a weekly podcast, weekly blog as well. Uh, my podcasts, I'm simulcasting onto YouTube. And so if you're subscribed to YouTube, I can't give a, a, a an absolute time of when I'm going to be doing my, my podcast via YouTube this week. But if you're available, you might find me sharing some things uh, that will be put in our podcast on YouTube so you can watch me do it. A couple things here. Hey, uh, Ash Anderson, our great project manager for Igniting Hope Ministries, is starting a course uh, in a few weeks called Unhindered. Unhindered. She did it last year. So good. You can find that out on IgnitingHopeAcademy.com. And then I'm working on my book, Fully Convinced, and we're planning in August of having a a course starting in August, eight-week course, Fully Convinced, The Art of Decision-Making, Attaching Faith to Everything We're Doing. It's going to be powerful. And then we're doing... Starting in September again, our transformational mind renewal course, our strongest content. If you're looking for a breakthrough and and you're wanting to do a five-month course on radical mind renewal, it's made for people on the go. It is an incredible course. Many who are watching right now have done this uh, and, and And it's you can find out info on Igniting Hope Academy as well. It's not that's not live yet to be able to uh, purchase, but it is coming. Wow, 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 wow! Great things are happening. We bless you today, uh, in the name of Jesus. Thanks so much for being on this Facebook, uh, YouTube live. Change the channel in your self talk if you just jumped on. You may want to go back to the beginning and listen to this. This is one to listen to over and over again. Wow. Hey, let me just say goodbye to a few people who are on live right now. Um, Claire, you're saying Ash's course was epic in changing your life. I agree. It's a good one. Uh, Debbie, thank you transformational course you're talking at Jackie you need that training 
hang with us, Jackie. If you're not signed up for our newsletter, uh, ignitinghope.com, you can, you'll once you do that and you can receive information. Rochelle, thanks for joining us. Thanks for being a big part of our Igniting Hope family. Adele, thank you. Marsha, um, thank you for always encouraging me and Marsha, my dog buddy. I'll give him some pats just for you. <laughs> and Vicki, thank you for joining us. Zoltan, wow. Thank you, Zoltan. Looking forward to running with you next year as at the Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry. And Neil, thank you. Have a good day as well. Judy, you are a great encourager. You are a great encourager. Matthew, thank you. Thank you for being an encourager as well on our chat. I love looking at our chat. All right, everybody. Until I see you again, we're here to ignite your hope. Remember, there's no hopeless circumstances. There's just people who do not have hope. And once people get true hope, circumstances cannot stay the same. Bye, everybody.